a lot of you guys, when I asked this question earlier, a lot of you guys looked at it like, hey, guys can use dating apps to easily get from women. What if I told you guys that like a majority of guys are like celibate and can't get laid? At all. Like at all. Hmm? They chose it. to be celibate though. I don't believe it. They chose to be celibate? I don't you believe just it. Said celibate. I was no, kidding when said I said I, I chose. Oh. I don't believe yeah, it. Yeah, like what if I told y'all that like a majority of men actually struggle with secure. attracting women, mm -hmm. retaining women, getting their attention, going on dates, and getting laid? Well, I'm, I'm my not friend's not wingman. Really. Most so. guys, as a matter of fact, they don't even get swiped on on dating apps. They don't get matches at all. Yeah. Because yeah. I find it interesting how you guys said, oh yeah, like you could, you could, men can easily just go on there and get sex and. Some of you guys thought it was 50 50. Some of you guys thought it was easy, etc. It just depends. They could get girls. Depends on what? It just depends up. on how much you're putting yourself out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're really just swiping on anybody, like I said, somebody's going to reply to you. Yeah. Even if they reply, thank mm -hmm. you, like somebody's going to reply to you. If they probably mm -hmm. thank you, yeah, but okay, what are you going to say? After? How is reply going to actually get them to, to sex? They could just say thank you. I mean, you said earlier when we asked you, guys will tell you compliments all the time and you just say thank you but does that lead to sex no it doesn't okay so we can go ahead and like you know quantify that probably a lot of women have that same response oh thank you but it doesn't lead to anything physical yeah i mean it it depends on what you say after the fact after i say thank you how are you gonna you gonna be like yeah you find it so i'll put a baby in you yeah. or is you gonna be like you're really <laughs> nice i want to get to know you more though like i love to see yeah you but would you actually date. entertain it probably no. not <laughs> but that's just so, me personally. That's most girls. That's personally. just me, cause I have a. I, I, what if I told you that exactly. most of you guys operate and think the same when it comes to validating men or evaluating? Well, then men. I would agree with you. Cause the thing is, with with females, is uh, you guys all tend to think that you're very special and you're different and you have different um, perspectives on men and you guys are all I'm unique. I like this type of guy, but. Mm -hmm. In reality, you guys are all kind of attracted to the same small demographic of men mm -hmm. in general because women are super selective. You guys don't like a majority of men. So by definition, you guys are all attracted to the same archetype of man. Now, can one guy have dreads and one guy have a low haircut? Sure. But mm -hmm. in general, the six sixes, right? Six foot tall plus, six figure income, six inch. They make the joke and say six horsepower car, 600 horsepower car. Yeah. That's another one. Hmm. But... In general, women look for the same demographic of man, you know, a certain waist to hip ratio, though some of you guys said, oh yeah, I'll date a guy that's fat, cool, but is that actually optimal? Probably not. And if you did come across a guy that was in good shape, you'd probably take him over pick, the fatter guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think women kind of run around and say that they're unique with their taste, but you guys really aren't. And if you guys were as unique with your taste as you guys claim, more guys would be getting laid, but yep. they don't. Yes, facts. I'm going with the fat guy because he eats. Exactly. You're going like, with the fat guy because he's eating? Yep, we eating. So, because he got money. Oh, obesity is no, actually... No, I'm talking no. about eating. No, so, like, going out to yeah, eat. So, yeah, so, like, so, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. People that say shapes and they be so, making hold on, juices all Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. You do understand that, like, obesity is actually, like, a, a signal. I'm not talking about no, no. obesity. You She's talking about lifestyle. So, for example... She said fat. No, no, you did. I know what you're saying. Guys in Miami especially, right? They'll be a certain, like... They have, like, a certain gut. But they go to eat all the time. Being fat. Komodo. That's my point. No. Huh? Not fat. She said fat. No, no she's saying well, in Ebonics term, she, eating like, yeah, she we mean, good. Like, like, they go to eat all the time. You feel me? Exactly. The restaurants, they go to eat. I got to say, yeah, she, they, she gets wined and dying. It's a lifestyle. Right? Money spent well, on her. her. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. She just said fat. Yeah. No. No, she don't mean it in that term. She says like eating like. She means like going to eat lifestyle. Eating good. Okay, well. As opposed to being with someone that's in the gym all day, 24-7, they juice all day. Being fat is actually a very good indicator of someone being of lower socioeconomic. I mean, if you say so. No, no. But I didn't say it. Hold on, hold on. Let me explain. She's saying guys that have like a belly gut that aren't the fattest, but they have like a little gut, they go to eat all the time. So the lifestyle is, all right, we're not going to gym, chicken juices. We're going to go eat dinner. And then go party. That's At lifestyle. Prime. You yeah. feel me? Like that's a very or I'm gonna cook a home cooked meal. In particular. I'm not gonna juice a spinach or eat spinach it's small and already, eggs. But yeah. Juice a spinach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm gonna either cook or we're gonna go out to eat. <laughs> like right. grown ups, not yeah, no freaking eating. rabbit. Either way, um, he just saying. I like rabbit. If you're fat, stuff, you're fat. But so. I get you. Mm, no. I understand. Yeah, and a majority of fat people like aren't eating at SDK Steakhouse like they're they're fat because they just typically are of lower socioeconomic oh, yeah, status no. yeah because if you had money and you literally take your health into consideration like you still wouldn't be feeding yourself processed shit if you had not really really yeah that don't matter a lot of guys out here that have money they just eat whatever eat they feel like shit. oh well I don't know
Not all though, but there's a minority that, that do. Okay. Well. But I get I get what you're saying though. Yeah. I mean, if you're fat, even if you got money, you're <laughs> so you should know better. Especially if you got money, that's even worse. Uh, but um, where are we at here? We could read some of the some of the chats. Okay. But yeah, I mean, um, while he while he pulls up the chat, I don't think women understand like how hard it is for guys to even get a date or talk to girls in general, because um. Most women are dismissive of most men. They don't even see them. Even Look, the biggest invisible. are pretty selective. They're like invisible. Yeah. Most men. And they don't give a fuck. This, this response actually proves like it's... No, because I ain't shit. no hoe, like, yeah. so I ain't finna respond. That's what I mean, mean everybody oh. a hoe. What the, how did you <laughs> extrapolate? Because you said everybody most hoes are still day. selective. And I'm just like, okay, like I can't agree with you because I mean, I'm not a hoe, so I can't really... I, I, I said that to bolster my stance that most men struggle with women and even the most promiscuous of women are still selective. Oh, okay. Then I understand. So, guys, quick word from our sponsor real fast. You know we don't mess around when it comes to leveling up, and that goes for your coffee, too. If you're still drinking that sugary shit, you are already started your morning off wrong. 1775 Coffee's protein creamer is what real men use to start their day. 10 grams of whey protein per serving designed to build muscle and boost metabolism. Most people are tossing whey protein into their coffee, but we took it a step further and made a creamer with whey protein already built in, no added sugar, just protein. They just dropped this protein creamer along with a whole new lineup. In addition to the classic dark and medium roast, you'll find new coffee pods and a brain boosting mushroom blend that'll have you focused like a sniper locked in on CNN. Don't start your morning funding the woke mob and dumping garbage into your body. Do it right with 1775 coffee. Use code FRESH to get 15% off. Guys, I'm drinking 1775 coffee right now, man. As we walk it like we talk it over here, guys, and they got one that has a protein blend, man. So definitely go show them support. You yeah. sub the channel? Shout, Shout out to 1775 coffee. 